This is JLW. Today I'm going to show everybody how to make a moving elevator. I've looked at a lot of tutorials uh, to learn this and all of the tutorials I looked at never told me everything I needed to know. They was always missing something so I figured I would just go ahead and make one myself. It took me a little while to learn how to do this. First off I made just a two platforms as you can see right here there's one platform cut a hole in the middle if you watch my previous videos you can know how to do all that made the second platform on the bottom for the elevator to come down I just made these you don't have to have these right here but I just made those so that uh, it would look like the elevator was riding on something okay put two lights one on for each platform and and a light box around your map. Once you have and a de uh, sorry and a deathmatch spawn point. Once you have all that done, which you can, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can do it however you want. Once you have it done exactly like mine, you need to t you need to take. This is where you're actually going to start with your elevator. You need to take, press shift on this, press in, and type in target name. Or, it, or your whole elevator. Say it's like a whole elevator, like four more sides to it. Just sh highlight all of those, whatever's going to be moving. Type in a uh, key target name like this. And type in value elevator. Press enter. What that's going to do is that's going to make that, that its entity is going to be it's an elevator. Your next thing you're going to need to do, which I'm going to show you over here on the grid. Um, I don't think my uh, my cams my cam studio isn't going on in my grid. Hold on, I have it on two different things. I'm just going to pause this and get my radiant to be back in normal screen mode. Okay, now that I've got my COD 2 radiant tool set back to normal. I had them on two different monitors so I could work on this real quickly. But my my camera recording thing uh, it, it just wasn't working right now but anyhow or it wasn't going to my other monitor which is no big deal. But okay after you've got these two platforms and the light box the two lights as you see make sure they're white and your deathmatch spawn point take build your elevator in the middle you'll have to cut out a cut out a patch in the middle for this and then you can leave that one right there and after we change the entity on that to target name and elevator there you, we can go and press escape now the next thing you're going to need to do as you see this little trigger I have here this is a trigger I know it's just a clear little box but the thing with it, how you get the trigger is you right click on the grid here okay and after you right clicked on the grid go to if I can remember here uh, trigger and go to use and this will be just a trigger box we'll pull it down here because we're going to want it to actually trigger the use now the entities for that see how those are just both triggers here's the entities I had set up on mine it's got to be target name trig underscore elevator so what I'll do on this on the other one here is I'll go press in bring the entity up target name it's already in there from the last time put trig underscore elevator and now that will trigger whenever you press your use key it'll make the elevator move so we'll delete the old one I had set up since we just made our new one. Okay. Now now that you've got the entities set up on that to an elevator and the entities set up on this to a trigger, this is when it comes to actually scripting your files. So you need to take a file and save this as uh I just saved my I just made mine MP underscore JLW, you know, just just a little test name, save it okay replace but before you close it press the XYZ thing here 
and you need to take click on one of these bars and measure it see how that says 528 on the Z axis you need to know that and I'll explain why here in a minute so after you know your your measurement there close that I don't know why mine is giving me that error okay this is where you're gonna need to set up your sorry you go to your maps for your IWD this is and I have most of this already set up you'll have to start yours new but oh sorry you need to click firstly you need to right click click new and go to text document and just like I showed you in the previous vi videos make another GSC file or you can just right click the other GSC file you have copy and paste it and then rename it to elevator but after you make your GSC file and name it to elevator open it and you need to have this information in here which I will put in the description but this is the information that actually makes the elevator work um, if you want your elevator to move up see I have mine set to go down you need to put a minus here or a negative or minus whatever and then take that away that's for it to go up for it to go down which ours is going down you need to do it like that and you remember how mine said it was 528 this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put 518 you wanna take 10 off automatically so that it'll measure up just right 518 so that it'll go down as far as you need it to and then after you put in that information and changed how far your elevator is save that and that's for your elevator and in your GSC file you need to un inside this bracket these brackets are what matters inside this bracket you need to put right here exact and I'll put that in the description I'll put the whole regular GSC file in there you need to put map slash MP or those are backslashes slash elevator dot dot or and main and you'll need to put that into your GSC file save that close and just to make sure I got this right I'm gonna check because this is my first time making an elevator in Radian. I just got it all set up today yep that's how I have mine set up let's make sure in my GSC or my elevator file here oh sorry okay this uh, I said it wrong when you have it like this that means it's going down when you have it like this that means it's going up but mine's going down so there's mine right there okay once you've got your files uh, you need to take and you need to compile it and add your dot d3d bsp file which I'm gonna pause this and go compile and get my file and I'll be right back in just a second okay go get your compiled file paste it right in there which I, like I said I already have mine all set up you'll be doing this from scratch I'm gonna copy and replace these are the only two I only need these and these I have not made a load screen or nothing for this yet so I'm gonna open my packscape run it bring this down press the little white page here copy those drag and drop save I'm gonna go mp underscore jlw dot iwd save it okay and there's my wd and I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna put that in my Activision and I'll be right back I'll show you some screenshots of me on the moving elevator since cam studio unfortunately does not record in game be right back okay and here's my first screenshot this is where I spawned as you see there's my light box there's my elevator that I made let's go to the next one okay here's the elevator before I get on it let's go to the next one there's the elevator telling me to press my use key and there's me riding down the elevator there's me whenever the elevator hit the bottom and that's all you do to set up your elevator it's very very simple uh, like I said I looked for tutorials all day I worked a good amount of time on this to learn how because uh, there wasn't sufficient enough information on the internet so I decided to make this tutorial I hope it helps you out thank you